What's up guys, Rare Spark here, and I'm coming at you with another MLB 2K13 with my shortstop slugger, and we are going up against the Pirates once again here in Pittsburgh, in one of the most beautiful stadiums in all of the major leagues. So Andrew McCutcheon leading off this game after hitting third in the last one. So let's see if this adjustment will help out the Pirates or not, but you know our Cardinals on my team are going to put up a tough fight, and we're going up my first at bat after yesterday, going two for four with a home run, two RBIs. With the last three or last four games, I had three home runs. So I've been hitting home run ball pretty well, considerably. And uh, let's see how we do here. So this pitch is a little low, but I'm hitting it nice liner. But the third baseman able to get a glove on it and pulls the first baseman off the base. So there we have it. I end up getting into first base safely. So bad throw from the third baseman. And uh, because of that, I was able to get there. So we'll see if we can get a nice lead on this one. I'm trying to steal second. And uh, without any throw at all, I make it there safely. So, while this video is going on in the background, I just wanted to talk to you guys about pretty much some new news about the channel. And uh, basically what's upcoming for NBA 2K14. I know this is an MLB video, but I figured why not talk about NBA. I just wanted to let you guys know that crew will be the main priority on NBA 2K14. Uh, honestly, I'll just be honest with you guys. That's going to be my main focus. And uh, obviously some my career here or there. And uh, I'm going to try and put in some more my team. I know a lot of people have been asking me when they do ask me, like, what kind of videos do I make and stuff. They ask me if I make my team. So clearly my team is pretty popular on the list for uh, NBA 2K as it goes for videos. So I'm going to try and focus a little bit more on that. Hopefully it's not as frustrating to play this up upcoming year as it was this year. A lot of cheesers from three and stuff like that. So we'll see if things can be fixed and the, how the gameplay will be adjusted and see if it's less arcadey and things of that nature. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do for NBA 2K. And then uh, around March, I'm guessing that's usually when the new baseball games come out. I'm going to be focusing on MLB The Show 14, which is pretty exciting. Hopefully I'll have my PlayStation 4 and that game by then. And, uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to focus my crew mode videos on the 360 because obviously crew is only going to be on the 360 version and then maybe I'll focus my my team videos on the PlayStation 4 just because you know it'll have better graphics and stuff like that so people will want to see those videos more than the 360 version so we'll see how things work out I'm not 100% sure if my team is going to be on PS4 I believe they might have said that it was on current gen only but we'll we'll have to see and uh, yeah so that's the plan for that one and uh, yeah We'll see how things go in that situation. And if anything, maybe I'll just make a my career, you know, new player, you know, like a three-point specialist. Like a lot of you guys, I believe I wrote something and you guys said you wanted in the comments a three-point specialist on the PlayStation 4 version while having Chuck on the 360 version. Chuck Norris, that is. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see how things go. Hopefully they do have my team on the new next-gen consoles. And I really want to know what you guys think of a GTA 5 Let's Play. I'm going to have two weeks before, you know, before, uh, basically before 2K comes out. And I'm going to have things to, nothing really to do. And I already pre-ordered the GTA 5. So, and with no multiplayer, I'm not going to be playing multiplayer until October 1st anyway on GTA 5. Which is going to be a real dilemma for me. Because I'm going to want to play the GTA 5 multiplayer while at the same time wanting to play NBA 2K14 so it's gonna be a tough situation for me to, and uh, Rockstar put me in that tough situation because I thought I would have had two weeks to you know have some fun on GTA 5 on multiplayer but seems like that's not gonna be the case so what do you guys think of a single player GTA 5 let's play on this channel let me know in the comments below I look forward to your feedback and I can't wait to possibly post that let's play but uh, let's jump back into the gameplay. As you see, I am lining this one foul. We're currently up 2-0 to zero against the Pirates in the sixth inning. And, you know, this pitch is going to be right down the pipe, but I couldn't get my bat on it, and I end up lining out. Oh, he throws it away again. Just once again, getting the luck of the draw here with the errors on the throws and stuff like that. And because of that, I was able to slide in there at second base. So... We're on second base now with not a double because unfortunately it was an error, but we'll see how things go. You know, they said that was a single, but I really don't think it was, and they end up walking the next batter. So, to put the next batter on, we got man on first and second, 
they're trying to run the double play or at least hoping for it but I'm gonna mess it up a little bit not exactly but they bunt the ball and I got a good jump so they weren't able to throw me out at third base and uh, so they get the easy out at first and they advance the runner so hopefully one of our guys our batters here can take advantage of the situation and put us up a couple more runs but we'll see as he goes down with the first strike there so down 0 and 1 with two outs not a good situation to be and I'm stealing home just to distract the catcher and uh, you know just trying to get in the pitcher's head obviously it's not realistic in real life but you know in my mind I'm trying to get in the pitcher's head and distract him so hopefully you know he ends up throwing a ball like that one so maybe it, maybe it did work you know you never know how much uh, game developers actually put things in and factor factor things in and stuff like that so I was looking to distract the pitcher and that time it did not work so we are down now one and two in the count with two outs and all he has to do is swing at the ball and miss and that's what he does so unfortunately we couldn't get any more runs on the board and so we're still up two to zero at this point in the game and I gotta play some defense so let's go ahead and get ready for this one and you know I'm playing shortstop as you know this is my shortstop slugger and it's an unusual combination so that's why I ended up picking it if you guys are new to the channel and I end up falling asleep here I don't know what I was doing I guess uh, I wasn't paying attention I might have been looking at YouTube or something and I end up falling asleep and not making the right play and because of that they got a man on base so we'll see how things go as you see uh, we are up three to two now, so I think that might have actually caused a run. So not a good time for me to fall asleep in that situation at all because it ends up costing us big time in the game. But I'm awake now, and oh my god, they make me drop and bobble the ball. But I'm still able to make the play. You see that one? I knock it down and still get the ball to first base to get the out. So one of three on the day. I reached base twice on errors as well. So. I not only got a hit, but the two times that I didn't get a hit, I reached base on an error. So this one is foul again. I'm just swinging too early on the pitches that should be home runs or, you know, good hits. And unfortunately for me, that cost me because probably a good pitch to hit. And uh, this one, I'm able to hit out into the outfield. So I'll take that single and, you know, keep it going. So that's two for four on the day again. And I uh, reached base successfully every time so far. And uh, running the bases, we're trying to run a hit and run play here. And this seems to never work. And I know I always say this every time. But watch. Every time this does, this happens, it seems to never work. So maybe this time it'll work, you know. Hit and run. It's hit up the middle. Dive into second base. And uh, he ends up getting the guy at first. But uh, I guess hit and run kind of works because it advanced the runner. But in that situation, you could easily just bunt the ball. And uh, the guy at first can make it to second. So I don't know why you'd run do a hit and run play unless you're going to be hitting it deep, you know. So you know I don't really know what the purpose of that is, but I'm trying to steal third and I make it home safely again. So there we are at third base, advancing the run to an easier scoring position. And now we only need a bloop single, and I can easily score. You know this could be anywhere. You know if they they end up hitting it in the infield if if they make the wrong play and they throw it to first I could sneak my way home and score a run and uh, we're down three to two so we really need a run in this situation and this one is lined to the shortstop and he ends up catching the ball for the out and unfortunately our scoring situation is gone so you know we gotta play some defense again to try and prevent them from scoring anymore this is the ninth inning this one his hit right up the middle and I'm able to grab it easily for the out but you know we can't give up but unfortunately we end up going down three to two in the ninth inning tough one for us to take and uh I, it always makes me wonder if I didn't make that error where I fell asleep if we would have won this game so I guess we'll never know but I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my MLB 2k13 shortstop slugger and I can't wait to bring you guys more soon thank you so much for watching you can follow me on Twitter at rare spark NBA rare spark 